public information officer of Air Force. At the same time, I'm the spokesperson for Team 5, which is recruiting from Mbale the Recruitment Center. Uh, today and tomorrow we shall be at Mbale to recruit for districts of Utareja, Namisi Inwa, Nam Manafa, then Mbale City and Mbale District. But today, on the 7th, we shall be recruiting three districts. Uh, Nama, Nami, Manafa and Butareja. So today, we have uh, worked with uh, the local leaders. We have uh, LC5 chairpersons, LRDCs and DISOs who have been part of the meeting and who are still with us as we we select the best candidates to be recruited as local defense personnel, then professionals and scientists who will join different uh, uh, services of the UPDF. At the moment, the team members are looking into the papers, the national IDs, the recommendation from LOCs, with the guidance of the local leaders to identify whether these are the people they recommended or not. And why do we involve local leaders? They are the ones to identify the best candidates for us, based on how they, they know them in terms of discipline and the, in terms of looking at those who could have forged uh, letters or academic documents or even national IDs. So our work is to get the best out of them, but they are also supposed to look at what we are doing to ensure that there is transparency in the exercise. What are the minimum requirements for these applicants? The minimum requirements for local defense personnel is to have at least uh, all level certificate or its equivalent. And they, they are supposed to be within the age bracket of 18 and 25. Uh, like I said, they must have recommendation from local council chairpersons, then the uh, or DSOs at all levels. Then, national ID is uh, one of the most important documents that we want because we are able to identify whether they are Ugandans or not. Then, uh, the physical fitness, all the medical uh, certificates can tell whether they are fit to be in the army or not. So that some of the principal requirements of having these people recruited. Then for uh, uh, professionals, the age limit is 30 years because we expect them to have gone past 25 when they are doing their diplomas or degrees. And for scientists, as long as you have done uh, a science combination at A level or even beyond, then you are a scientist ready to take up uh, or being recruited in the Air Force as long as you meet other criteria which has been set. So uh, being used in the uh, to, to reach our groups who are in the recruitment team, either by giving them money, the message is clear that we don't want uh, anybody to be used that is going to be recruited in the army or not. Because we are paid by government and UPDF to do this job. So those who are going to do that are not supposed to do it. And people should understand that there is no bribery in a recruiting you people into the UPDF. So those who do it, when caught, will be prosecuted. And our team members are aware the uh, repercussions of being used by those con men. So they don't want anything from them. They are here to do a certified work, which is for the good of our country and our institution as UPDF. What number are you targeting overall?
Uh, at the end of it, in the eastern region, especially southeastern, we, we shall be uh, recruiting around 1,000 plus uh, because the quotas we are given according to districts population. So, but generally, we have the target is around 1,500 plus. Very transparent. The the